What's up guys, Chasten Ivory here with another book post. Today we have Washington A Life by Ron Chernow. Now for those of you who have not seen the book physically, it's fucking huge. It's like 1100 pages thick and I bought it online and when I got that monster in the mail I thought shit, what did I get myself into? But I'm really glad I read it now because uh, even though I was not born in the US, it got me really pumped about this country's history and all the incredible events that led to the birth of the United States of America. And I do mean incredible when I say that. Now, because the book is so big, I'm going to have to divide it into three parts. Part one will be Washington's early life and up to the onset of the American Revolution. Part two will be the American Revolution itself. And part three will be Washington's presidency and legacy. Now, this first part is really interesting in the sense that it made me realize that even the greatest and most respected historical figures were not so great and respected at some point in their lives. Washington was a reckless young general who barely won any battles. In fact, he messed up pretty bad a couple times. But one, did, one thing he did have on his side was his bravery and his luck. There were plenty of times where bullets would be whistling by him and he wouldn't even flinch. Times where his jacket or his hat would end up with bullet holes after a battle, but he never got hit. There were even two recorded instances in which he was riding his horse and his horse got shot and it collapsed. And all he did was stand up, dust stuff, grab another horse and keep riding. This guy was incredible. If you guys are interested, you got to check out this post. You can check it out here in English and here in Spanish to get a glimpse of the book. However, as usual, please remember all of the reasons why I'm doing these kind of posts. I'm not trying to tell you a story that has been told a million times. I'm trying to make you realize that reading is fucking awesome. And most importantly, that you write about what you read because reading is not enough. And don't forget about the question I always have at the end of the post. You can answer this one using hashtag Washington part one question. You can also suggest a better book in a sentence using hashtag book in a sentence, hashtag Washington part one and or their Spanish equivalents. And finally, don't forget to go to chastenamber.com slash books to check out more book posts. Woohoo!